Now, acclaimed South African visual artist Gakhizun Dade Pet Maoutlo has a new solo exhibition opening at the UJ Art Gallery under the title Urban Soundscapes Crafting Spaces of Belonging. Curated by Tabu Seshoka, uh, this body of work documents the, best, the beats rather, and rhythms of imagined worlds and the figures that reside within them. The exhibition that is set to open on the 6th of August uh, will run until the 30th of September is expected to serenade art patrons through a well-composed symphony of urban life. Well, Dati Pat Mautla joins us now in studio to tell us more. Dati Mautla, so good to see you. Welcome to Morning Drive. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Talk to us about this exhibition. What is this exhibition about? Uh, the exhibition is about uh, snippets of my work right through my, my career. And uh, it's mostly works that I've never shown. So I've been doing work and then storing it in the studio. And I thought uh, maybe it's about time I kind of come out of the closet and share my visions and my comments with the art audience. Mm -hmm. What is the particular <coughs> theme that runs through this body of work? It's, it's a, a very open-ended theme, but it more it talks more about uh, Johannesburg, city life, concerns, you know, celebrations, a myriad of things that one can expect from a city. What are some of the lessons that came with taking this body of work out and seeing it again and putting it on exhibition? What, do, what are some of the memories that are evoked with this? The... <laughs> <laughs> It's a little difficult question, but uh, what, what I've been picking, I mean, uh, I've been working with a theme for quite a long time, uh, covering different subjects and all that. And then uh, the late David Kulwane, mm. we, we always used to work about the, you know, things in the city, mm. the changing shape of the city, Partly the disrepair, the, the the disrepair of the of the infrastructure in the city, and uh, the for, forever changing sort of flavor of the city in terms of the populations, ways of trading, and the shift of the capital from from what you used to call the city mm. to other parts of you know. Uh, the city. For those that are not accustomed, you know, to urban life and the sounds that come with it, mm. what experience are you going to walk away with through seeing this exhibition? The, the fact that there, there would be works, actually mostly my work is made of found objects, mm -hmm. part of the remnants of things that people throw away in the city. I always retrieve them and then give them a new life. Mm. For instance, uh, for a change, I would be having some sculptures which are made of uh, uh, polystyrene bits that uh, people use for packaging. Mm -hmm. And later they throw them away and I retrieve them and then remodel them into sculptures. I want to talk about the title, Urban Soundscapes. Yes. I mean, what is the significance of that title in relation to what you are trying to say with this body of work? Uh, it's mainly saying the, the city is a buzz with rhythm, different tones of rhythm right through. You hear many different sounds, languages, there's, there's festivals, there's theatre, there's, you know, social, social interaction, you're meeting people that you haven't met, people that you have met long ago you know, reuniting with them and all that. And that brings about the, the buzz and the flavor of, of Johannesburg itself mm -hmm. as a boiling pond, boil, uh, pot of cultures abound in the country. Yeah. yeah. Um, and how much of the city that you know and you grew up with, uh, with the late Ntatukulwane, and how much of it has changed, you know, from when you were young to now and the, the sound that it, it's making at the moment? It, it's changed uh, quite a lot from the time that I grew. I mean, before, I don't know if you were 
there then, but when you went to to Kotropum, you'd like really spruce up and get you know your best foot forward and mm -hmm. all that. But now it's it's you know it's almost like a disrun township, mm. and those were some of our, our concerns. Let me say, we had uh, or we have a very strong, beautiful infrastructure that could be, you know, uh, taken care of and kept because that's part of our history, and uh, it was developed from the back of our grandfathers. So, so it's. It's a legacy on its own, yeah. And we should, we've got to see to it that we take care of it and and we appreciate where we started. While we improve and make other or move to other places, we should try to leave it in, intact. Mm. Yeah. Is that also part of the message that that you're trying to send through with this particular exhibition? Absolutely, mm. yes. Yeah. It's 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 mainly a commentary about. I mean, I've got some of these pictures that are. Mm. Uh, you know, you see as if the buildings are falling apart, are crumbling and all that. But within that, you see a new flavor mm -hmm. of industries. Within that, you see seamstresses, people making clothes and all that. In one of these paintings there, um, I'm having like pieces of cloth, which I pick up from there. And then, you know, I make uh, paintings out of. So every bit of what's happening in the city mm -hmm. is, is thrown into the work. Yeah. It's calabashes, tradition, All right. you know, and picking from my other works previously, collaging it into my new work. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so give us details of the exhibition at the UJ Art Gallery. What other details are there that we need to know? There will be uh, some walkabouts intermittently. And then uh, hoping to interact with uh, the audience and the people that will be coming there if they want to ask questions, if you want to. And most of the works are, are for sale. And uh, the, I think the cherry on top in the, in the exhibition would be a little showcasing of Gerard Sikoto's uh, work, okay. which has been loaned from one of the collectors. Uh, there will be a cabinet that shows that work. And uh, for me, befittingly so, is that uh, one of the first few exhibitions that uh, Gerard Sukoto had in South Africa, I had the privilege of, of showing with him. It was me, David Kulwani, Sam Ntlengetua, and Gerard Sukoto. Mm. And uh, one picked inspiration from having worked and shown with him and snippets of his uh, you know flavors of his work can be seen in some of my work all right dr yes. pet thank yeah. you so much for talking to us uh, still sure. looking very young by the way oh, <laughs> renowned you. multimedia visual artist yeah. and dr <laughs> pet uh, and we've been discussing forthcoming solo exhibition at the uj art gallery called urban soundscapes crafting